Hi kindergarten, it's Mrs. Filer here from Baker Elementary. Today we're going to do a lesson about counting on or counting up. What that means is that you're not necessarily going to start with the number one as you continue counting. Now, a great way to get warmed up for that is to practice counting to 100. So I'd like you to pause this video and take a minute to either um, count to 100 with your grown up, or you can go to YouTube and put in this URL and it brings up a Mr. Harry video for I can count to 100. So go ahead and pause and do that real quick. All right, you're back. Well, I hope you counted along to 100 or at least listened to the song as they counted to 100 for you. Now, I wanna show you a time that you might count on. This is a calendar, and it doesn't go the whole way up to where we are in April, but I just wanted to get us started. Um, because it is the month of April, I just put in a few dates there, and you know that normally a calendar, we would add the next day. When we add the next day, do we go all the way back to the beginning to count up and see where we're at? Do we have to go all the way back to one, two, three, four, and count the whole way up to find that next number? No, we don't have to do that. We can look at the last number we see, which here is what? 11. And we can say, okay, what would come next? After 11 comes 12 and we would put 12 in that next box, right? So we didn't have to go all the way back to the number one and count on um, to find out what was next. Instead, we could look at that number and say, what comes after 11? 12. So let's do that. What comes after 11? Let's just count on a few numbers. Ready? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay? Nice work. Now, that's just one time that you might use uh, counting on or counting up. Here I have a chart that has all of our numbers from one up to 100. And I'm going to give you some different numbers and then we're going to try to see what would come next. Some of these you might know in your head, but having this 100 chart in front of us is also going to give you a chance um, to look at the numbers to see what comes next, okay? So for example, let's say we had 20 kids in our class and we got a new student. Would we wanna line everybody up and have to count every kid in the class just to find out how many kids there are? No, we can think what comes next. So if we had 20 kids, I would say, okay, what comes after 20? 21. So there would now be 21 kids in the class. And I didn't have to go the whole way back to the number one and start over again to find that out. All right, let's try another one. Right now, it is 51 degrees out, okay, 51. What would come next if it gets a little bit warmer? Let's say it goes up a couple degrees. So we would count on from 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, right? So if I'm using this chart, I'm just looking at the numbers that come next. And even if I wasn't using the chart, I could count on using the numbers that I know in my head. All right, how about if we do the number 12? Okay, think of the number 12, what comes next? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Very good. Now I'm going to give you one and I want you to tell me what comes next. Hmm. Let's go to the number six. If I give you the number six, can you count on? Tell me what comes next. Did you say seven, eight, nine? 
If you did, you are correct. After six comes seven, and then eight, and then nine. Good, okay, I'm gonna give you another one. How about, let's do the number 34. So I can show you right here. 34, what comes after 34? Did you say 35, 36, 37? If you did, you are correct. All right, we're gonna try one more. How about, I'm gonna give you a tough one, 68, 68. So here's 68 on our chart. Now what will come next? Did you say 68, 69, 70, 71, 72? If you did, that is amazing. You're excellent at counting on. Now, even if you did not get all of those correct, this is a great way to practice counting and to practice your numbers. So you could use a chart like this that goes from one up to 100. Um, you could make your own chart that goes from one up to 100. And then you could pick any number and practice counting on. All right, friends, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again next week.